Hi, I'm in the East Village tonight, and the key to a good 3D print is the hotness. We all basically do the same. They melt filament or plaster, as you want to call it, and they melt it to a certain degree so it flows evenly. They're constantly evolving and changing and getting better every year. There are many out there, some are good and some are bad. And now Fetus has thrown their hat into the ring and upgraded the Rapido 1.0 to 2.0. Let's take a first look and see what they've done to improve their hot end. Rapido 2.0. This looks exactly, if I held it like this, like the Rapido 1.0, but this is a 2.0 version. What is different about this? One, if you take the sock off, which it comes with two, you'll notice it's a lot different. It has a screw in the mister and it has this spring arm for the mister so to have uh, what they call a strain relief on it so it doesn't break off. This is still, on the other hand, straight on, but now it's a square. The other one had a ceramic round heater that went over the nozzle. This is square, and you can clip this one on and off with this little clip over here. And this can either be a groove mount, as you can see over here, or you can take it off and screw it straight on. The throat over here is made of titanium and it's surgically thin. It has aluminum cooling, the heating element, plated copper, the nozzles. This one here is a 0.6. It's a one-handed removable nozzle. And it comes with two nozzles right now. In the high flow mode, you can actually add this to it. It's another piece that has, I want to show you first before I screw it in. It's a little th longer, thin. And then you can screw the hot end into this here, and this becomes the ultra high flow, like that. So it's a lot, makes it a little longer. So you have more coverage, more of a melt zone over here. And then you have a different sock that would actually fit that. So boom, like that. Yeah, it's a pretty good conversion here. Take this off again and take the ultra high flow out. So it comes with a 4.0. I'm gonna put the 4.0 back in. Okay, so the one thing that I have to point out that I had an issue with was with the thermistor. My thermistor, even though it has this excellent looking strain relief on it, the spring on it, like this, broke off. I don't know why, it could have been a fluke, it could have been like, you know, one in a million type of thing, I don't know, but it did. The problem was solved pretty easily. I had purchased this Rapido 2.0 version from 3D Hub in Canada. I live in New York, I got it within three days, which is great, you know, at a really decent price. I was filming this a couple of days ago, just in the filling process, the thermistor snapped off. I don't know how. I wasn't putting any really force in it. Again, as I said, it might have been a fluke. I don't know. If this happened to you before in the past, let me know in the comments. But 3D Hub immediately responded and told me they're sorry about the incident. You know, well, not immediately. I got an email 48 hours from them uh, stating that they're really sorry about what happened and that they had run out of this part here and that they had no replacements in stock. But what they were going to do was, and what they did do was they found another vendor who had this part. They said to me, we'll refund you the cost of whatever the vendors charge you. In my case, 16 bucks plus $5 in shipping. And I told them I bought it and they said, fine. And they refunded me back $21. And I got my part from this other vendor within like three days, three or four days. So I'm happy. So I didn't have to wait like a month or a couple of weeks or a couple of days uh, because they'd have been stocked. Most vendors would say, I'm sorry. As soon as we get the part in, 
will send will ship you one out. I would have to wait like you know a couple of weeks. So Venom was really good. I love that about 3D Hub in Canada. They have a lot of parts there, so I highly recommend them for the service they provided for me. As I said before, it's really easy to go in. Uh, it just screws in, so I don't have to use any of that messy thermal paste, which I hate using because it gets in here when you put the tube in there and you put it in and secure it and you have to put a screw on top, on top of it. It's a pain in the butt to get out once you've been using your your uh, hot end for a while. It gets caked on and you have to use like something to push it out and it's not pretty. This thermistor just screws on with its little screw, no mess. The heater part has a clip over here. I'm not gonna take it out, but it clips on, remove the clip, pop it out, pop a new one back in and you're done. The nozzle is one-handed, so you can just screw that in. So you don't have to be fiddling around to make sure the other side is even, you know, and you don't have a gap in between. It just screws on and you're good to go. It also has the screws to give it, you know, some spacing between the working end and the aluminum uh, cooling part over here. Apparently they recommend using a 25 millimeter fan. I felt if you know most hot ends, and this kind of resembles one is out there, and which one is that? It is called the E3D V6. Similar shape. It has a clip-on fan adapter that's very secure. Doesn't come off. You can hardly turn it. It's good. And this is the 25 millimeter fan. I think the original one is a um, 30 millimeter fan. It's not the issue over here, 25 or 30. The issue is the mounting for this here. If I take that same thing here, and you would think it would fit perfectly, it snaps on, but it is loose. It doesn't clip on, and it can come right off pretty easily. It is not a good fit. Okay, no matter how much I try to make it tight, it's going to be loose and wobbly, and you don't want that. What I did find on Thingiverse was this one STL, and I tried several of them, and most of them did not fit, had the same issue as this here. They will wobble or they're too loose or too, you know, they wouldn't fit properly. Snap like that. And it is a good tight fit. Covers the, all the all the fins on the aluminum part here. Super tight. Nothing loose about it. And it fits a 40 millimeter fan. Like so. Remember, when you're putting your fans, label side is where the fan blows. So you want to make sure you know what that is. Okay, so that goes over here. The fan they recommended was GS Time 40 millimeter fan brushless. And I'm using 24 volts since my motherboard, my power supply I'm using is 24 volts. I'll leave the model number below because it's a long number and it's fine for me. I can't really see that well. But yeah, this will work perfectly together. I'd actually rather have a little bigger fan because the smaller fans tend to whine because of using so much, you know, power to like, you know, move that little tiny fan, that little tiny fan blades. To move the small fan blades around, it needs a lot of power. So it has to spin much faster to go around. With this here, it will be more of a whoosh, push more volume of air through and be more quieter. I hope. Let's see what this thing sounds like when I mount it later on. I'm not going to demo it today. Once I have my system in place, I will show you. Uh, how it works. That's pretty much about it. So yeah, I got this one part. I'll put the STL file for this in the link below. It was on Thingiverse. Then I'll put the number of the fan and we'll see how that works. Well, otherwise so far, this new uh, thermistor looks like it's holding up, um, hasn't broken off. I printed this by the way, out of ASA and I love the finish that it has. It looks almost store-bought and it's like so nice. You know, originally I thought ASA was going to be really hard. It was going to warp. The way I print ASA on a Cartesian printer is uh, I don't have an enclosure. So what I do is I put a um, draft wall up in Prusa settings. So it builds a wall around it as it builds up. So it blocks any type of draft. And so far, I really had no issues printing the ASA, printing it at... Um, 250 degrees. My bed's been at around 90 degrees, even though it says 100. 90 is fine, no issues there, and we're good to go. That is my Rapido two point zero. 
All right. Hope you enjoy this and it gives you a little bit of information about this. Talk to you later. Bye.